If undertaken responsibly, metal detecting can make an important contribution to knowledge. Before you start detecting, you must obtain permission from the landowner. All land, including in parks, public open spaces, beaches and foreshores, has an owner. Any finds discovered will normally be property of the landowner, so to avoid disputes it is advisable to get permission and agreement in writing regarding the subsequent ownership of any finds discovered. Follow the law when it comes to protected sites or other sites where metal detecting may be restricted. Your local finds liaison officer will be able to help you with these. And take extra care when you're metal detecting near those restricted sites because sometimes the boundaries won't be that clear when you're on the ground. Familiarise yourself with the Portable Antiquities Scheme and read its guidance on the recording of archaeological finds. Ensure that you follow current conservation advice on the handling, care and storage of archaeological objects. You can obtain public liability insurance to protect yourself and others from accidental damage. Anyone wishing to go onto the Thames foreshore will require a permit from the Port of London Authority. Detect on ground that has already been disturbed, such as ploughed land, and only to the depth of the plough. If detecting is done on pasture, be careful. Make sure no damage is done to the archaeological value of the land, including earthworks. Avoid damaging stratified archaeological deposits, which are finds that seem to be in the same place that they were originally deposited. Minimise ground disturbance through the use of suitable tools. Replace any ground and turf as neatly as possible. Stop any digging if you discover something below the plough soil, such as a concentration of finds or unusual material, or wreck remains. Your local finds liaison officer may be able to help or will be able to advise on an appropriate person. Reporting your find does not change your rights of discovery, but it will result in far more archaeological evidence being recorded. Record archaeological find spots as accurately as possible using a GPS, phone or map whilst you're in the field. Bag your finds individually, marking the bag with the National Grid reference with a waterproof marker pen. Archaeologists are interested in all finds you make, not just metallic ones, because such finds contribute to knowledge. Respect the country code. Leave gates and property as you find them. Do not damage crops, frighten animals or disturb ground nesting birds. And dispose of properly any litter or scrap metal you may find. Report all archaeological finds to the landowner and make it clear to them that you wish to record those finds with the Portable Antiquities Scheme. Both the Country Land and Business Association and the National Farmers Union support the reporting of fines to the Portable Antiquities Scheme. Abide by the Treasure Act 1996 and the REC law. If you wish to take archaeological fines outside of the UK, you will require an export licence to do so. If you find any traces of human remains, call the police on 101 and notify the landowner. Do not excavate them. If you find anything that could be live explosive or other ordnance, do not attempt to interfere with it or move it. Notify the police or the Coast Guard immediately and get in touch with the landowner. Call the police if you notice any illegal activity, such as theft of farm equipment or illegal metal detecting. To read the Code of Practice in full, visit the Portable Antiquity Scheme or the Association of Detectorists websites.